It's time for another video from Replay Music Studios. Hi again everybody, this is Kyle from Replay Music Studios and this is part two of how to play Freight Train. Um, if you haven't seen part one, I'd go find that because we're gonna build off of what we learned there. So, in the last lesson, we were looking at the alternating thumb going between the low E string and the D string. Now we're going to take a look at the chords and melody. Um, so, really this first part of the song, there are two parts. The first part is just moves between a C chord and a G chord. Um, but the C chord is a little different than your standard fingering, which you may already know is like this, with a third finger on the third fret the A string, the middle finger on the second fret of the D string, an open G string, um, our first finger on the first fret of the B string, and an open E string. So how this chord in Freight Train, how the C chord will be different, is we're just going to make a slight adjustment. We're going to move our ring finger down a string, we're gonna move it to our sixth string. So it's actually playing a, a, a G in the bass instead of a C, it's a G. And then the other change we're gonna make is their pinky's gonna be used. We're gonna put that down on the third fret of our high E string. Okay? So this is also a C chord and it's the first one of Freight Train. So the first note of the melody is on our high E string. And so our pinky's here, and we're gonna play that. You can use any of these fingers. I use my ring finger because I kind of keep that on this string, and each, each of my fingers is kind of a, assigned its own string. But you can use your pointer finger. You can do the whole melody if you want. With the pointer finger, which is how a lot of people play um, Travis style picking. Um, really whatever is comfortable for you. Um, I would go with that. So, now that we've got our chord in place, this new C chord, we're gonna start the pinky. I'm going to remove the chord so you can just see what the melody is doing. Um, so we've got starting on the high E string, third fret, the pinky. Remember, it'll already be there. And we're going to pluck that. Then we're going to pl play open E string. Then we're going to play third fret B string. Then first fret B string, which our pointer finger will already be there because that's the C shape. All right? So the first four notes again. Okay? And so let's take a look at that with our bass going because remember that is happening at the same time. So. The, the, um, the constant bass, or thumb, those are playing eighth notes, so that it's like this. If you were counting, it'd be like one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And the melody is on every beat, so. So, there, the, you're going to play the D string with your thumb in between each melody um, note. And you're going to play the low, the low E string at the same time as each melody note. So it'll be like this. Together, I'm playing the low E string and the high one. Then D string. And then lift our pinky 
D string again. Put our pinky down on the B string. D string again. And then take our pinky off. D string again. Do that uh, a little faster. Okay, um, great. So practice that. Next time we're gonna move on to their second chord, which will be a G. And played like this. The good news is all that changes for the second chord is these two fingers come up. The ring finger stays on the third fret of the low E string. The pinky stays on the third fret of the high E string. Okay? Play it for you again a little faster just so you hear what it sounds like. Okay? Um, great. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.